All right, guys, today's project should be a fun one. We're going to make a little birdhouse. And uh, we're going to make it out of a 1x6 uh, fence picket that uh, they come already treated and they're real cheap. And uh, so we're going to give it a go. The sides are going to be 4 inches tall, so we're going to need two 4 inch tall. And they're going to be the 6x wide. And then we're going to do our front and back. We're going to cut. 245s to make the peak so we're going to need those to be four inches plus enough to cut the 45 peak into it so it should be three inches it'll be a little less than three inches uh, cutting 245 so we'll go ahead and do seven and seven on the back and then we'll cut three 10 inch pieces for the the roof and the floor and uh, we'll have to uh, to meet these up and make them uniform. We'll have to cut a little uh, a little uh, piece off of one side of these so they can line up right. And I'll show you that. So let's get get to it. All right. So first things first, we're gonna cut off our all our pieces lengthwise. So we're gonna do. Uh, three ten inch two four inch and two seven inch and that will build our uh, this is a six foot long plank and uh, you'll need about maybe like four feet four and a half feet of it so you won't even need one whole plank to make this and so it's a uh, pretty cheap and uh, should be a pretty fun project All right, so here's our pieces cut out and just I got them sitting here just trying to visualize it and we got our two other pieces there and so we're going to come 45 up here 45 up here and we're going to make the uh, point there all right so I got it marked off I've been using a stop block uh, to just help uh, these cuts you know run faster so I got my miter saw set at 45 degrees and we're going to cut across starting at our line 
and then I'm just going to flip it and cut across the other way. And that'll give us our, our end. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make our hole for our birds. It doesn't have to really be exact on where you want it, but uh, we're just going to kind of, we're going to go four inches down and we'll mark off the center here of like two and, we're going to two and three quarters for the center. And that'll just give us our decent reference point. And I'm going to use a two inch hole saw. Uh, and I'm just going to put this two by four behind it just so I don't go all the way through. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is you're going to need a hammer and some uh, inch and a quarter uh, finishing nails. And we're just going to start off by putting uh, the, this is the back side and these are the sides and we're just going to nail these together like this. And uh, we'll, we'll do that first and then we'll get to the other side and then the bottom.
All right, so here we go. We got them. We got it mostly nailed together here, and we did have a couple of issues with a nail uh, biting through on this side a little bit. So we might go back and fix that. Try to nail it down there. So just try to be aware of that. Try to keep your nails. I'll probably just put a new nail in there. Um, fix that. But uh, other than that, it's been pretty good. And what I did with the bottom piece was I offset it. I put it all the way forward so they have something to something to stand on. And then next, the last thing is going to be the roof. But since we're going to uh, we're going to meet them in the middle like this when we put the roof together we're going to have to cut a uh, board thickness off one of these so that way they're even on both sides so that's going to be the one last cut we're going to make and then we'll nail it together and to mark this all we're going to do is um, just lay them like this and make a make it flush uh, make it flush with this side of the bottom board like so and I'm going to use the uh, miter saw for this cut too because I might I got a compound miter saw so I can do it but you can make any of these cuts with uh, with a uh, any kind of saw you can make one hand saw hand saw skill saw saws all you can do it all uh, so there we go so I'll make this cut and then we'll put it together so what you'll do is you'll take the piece that we just cut here the shorter one and you'll uh, put them together like this so your long one's going to go all the way to the top right here like this and then your short one's going to go on this side so long one all the way to the peak and then the short one on the other side and then we'll just nail that together All right, and there you have it, your uh, um, birdhouse completed. You can sand it up a little bit, make it look a little nicer, but that took me all of about, I don't know, not even 30 minutes probably, and that's with me videoing it. Uh, and I've cut everything with the miter saw, and uh, I used stop blocks, and uh, I just, got my c-clamp and i use this two by four and i just clamped the distance that i needed 
and then use it as a stop block and I could make you know repeat cuts I could build 10 bird houses in no time doing it that way and the only thing that was I was kind of wondering about was this long cut that I had to make but worked out great on the miter saw because I got one that can cut across all the way so one of the this is the treated picket and so you really you don't have to paint it you could paint it if you wanted it to but this is going to last forever out there it's really rot resistant and uh yeah we used we used all but this much of it it's a six foot six foot picket it's got the dog eared ends uh, but you could cut your 45s and still use this and just cut your 45s on there and uh utilize as much as possible i'd say we got about a foot and a half maybe two feet left let's see here yeah yeah we got 18 and three quarter inches about a foot and a half so we need about four and a half feet to make the birdhouse and this costs a dollar fifty and then I got the finishing nails. I got a whole box of them for, you know, two bucks. So it's like nothing. It's like, you know, 20 cents worth of nails. So for less than $2, you got a neat little uh, bird box, bird to house. And uh, I centered this up because I like the way it looks. And I'm not going to hang it on anything. But if you were going to uh, screw it to something on the back, just move your... Uh, move your whole uh, roof a little uh, forward to be level with this so your whole back is is flush that way you can hang it but yeah i like this so i'm probably gonna make some more of these this is pretty cool so thanks for watching